Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Nicki Minaj went on Queen Radio today and she dragged Wendy Williams for the comment she made about her husband, Kenneth Petty. Now, Wendy did cover the story about Nicki getting married to Kenneth and while she talked about it, she threw a lot of shade and of course, she brought up Kenneth Petty's criminal history. Listen to this. So, Nicki Minaj is married. There are some naysayers who say, why did you marry this guy, Kenneth Penny, Petty? So she's Nicki Minaj Petty. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, she announced the news on her Instagram last night by showing the Mr. and Mrs. Muggs and the bride and groom hat. So we are to assume she's married. But I think that she probably will start a family right away. And can you imagine a burgeoning belly with these burgeoning hips? I mean, the plastic of it all, you know what I mean? And she's gonna have a big belly and she's short and she's got the boobs and the hips. And I don't know what he does for a living. I just know that he did time in jail for, um, he's a sex offender. Well, she's no stranger to that because her is in jail for Sex offending. Mm, for sex offending. Well, first degree manslaughter. Now, he served seven years in prison and he's also a sex offender. So that means that he, is a manslaughter a killer? Oh, that's okay, so he's a killer and, and a sex offender. Well, Nikki, congratulations. Now, Wendy was very messy when she talked about Nikki getting married, and of course, Nikki had to respond to it. Now, she went on Queen Radio, and she gave Wendy a good dragging. Listen to this. We always mention people's past, and that's not what God does, Mr. Wendy P. Williams. I mean, Pendy. Pendy. Pendy, Prince Sword. <laughs> I, 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 Mm-mm, good. God already told us that he placed our sins into the sea of forgetfulness. So how can you remember that? Remember something that God already forgot? How can you blast a bunch of rappers and interview a bunch of rappers that all they do is talk about shooting and killing, then continue to mention somebody that actually did that who served their time and, and paid their dues, their debts to society. But that's why, that's why Kevin was on that island chilling. And I can't. <laughs> Kevin said, wait a minute. I'm about to have my baby. He called you and was like, well, hold on. I can't come to that episode. My, my, my new, my bitch giving birth. My real bitch giving birth, child. You see? You see, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> when you announce my husband, P, there's no need for you to mention his past because these rappers is rapping about shooting and killing every day. These rappers is out here every day talking about guns they ain't never held, guns they ain't never bust. Okay, Tasha K is coming up next week, as well as um, T.S. Madison, who every, everybody knows that's my baby. T.S. Madison is going to be here. And we got a full show. It's next week. I just didn't. I had to give a little sneak peek today. Pendy Pinson? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Do you mention Gucci Man's body every time you 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 mention him? 
Or when you discussing his wife, do you mention his man down, his charge? Three times, three times in a row, bitch doing a show, acting like she fucking stuttering John. Talk about, is it manslaughter? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does manslaughter? Is that, does it mean that you actually killed somebody? Does it mean that you murdered? Bitch, where was you at when Kevin had his dick? Knee deep in that bitch pull not knee. <laughs> and it's not about, about you doing your job. There are people who report the news and there are people who do it with an evil intent in their heart, viciousness. And I pray for you because I know you're hurting and I know you must be sick and humiliated. Okay? I pray for you. Because I let it go when you had to tell the audience, you know, whatever he had to do time for. I let it go. But every time you mention him, you feel the need to bring him up. You, you feel the need to bring these things up as well as something that he was wrongfully accused of doing when he was 15 years old well because he didn't have $7,000 to get himself bailed out because when you in the hood at 15 you don't have that kind of money and neither does your family and when the alleged accuser wrote a, a, a letter to the judge asking to take it take the recant these statements she was told that she would go to jail for 90 days allegedly if she recants the statement. But white is right. But I didn't know that in our society, you have to be plagued by your past. I didn't know that people can't turn over a new leaf. I didn't know that your viciousness and evilness was this deep-rooted, this deep-seated. But I understand why now. When a, wo when a woman isn't really being loved at home, the viciousness is a different type. So I really wanna, wanted to pray for you today because look at where you are now in your life. Look at what age you are. You sat up there being vicious all this time and paid for that man's mistress for all these years, child. You paid for her, for her shopping sprees. You paid for her hotels. You, bitch, you probably even paid for her GYN bills, bitch. You paid to have that baby delivered, ho. How you doing? I want to know what you was doing when that motherfucker dick was knee deep in that pussy. Because I don't want to imagine you without that wig on your head. And that's why he ran. That's why. That's why. And I was one of those black women supporting you when that came out. I was one of those people saying, forget what she said about me in the past. Let's all surround her and now, and now support and uplift her. And we won't talk about you wannabe queen radios who dying to get my attention, who dying to get me to say y'all name. Y'all know y'all will never get said because y'all are peasants. Pendy and peasants, okay? <laughs> I was really one of those people, you know, rooting for you at the sober living home, at, you know, just because I know we're human first. We're human before we're celebrities. We're human before we're personas. And I know that, that you must have gone through a lot, but you are demonic. And that's why this stuff unfolded. If I were you, I would go and pray, ask for forgiveness. You can, you can report the news. People do it all the time, report the news without the level of viciousness and trying to play dumb and doing all this nonsense. I mean, I watched you do that to Beyonce for years and I could never for the life of me figure out why. Like, what does this woman have against Beyonce? Like, it's sickening to watch, but I remember I was somewhere with Nas and you walked up to him and said, you acted like you didn't see me. And then you said to him something about, oh my God, why are you with her? I don't like her. And you said you and Kevin had spent the whole morning playing Nas. <laughs> Kevin wasn't playing Nas. Kevin was knee deep in that pussy. You was playing Nas, bitch. You was playing yourself and Nas. 
But the real show about you is coming next week because there's a couple things that we've uncovered about you and certain others. So that's what Nikki had to say about Wendy. And you heard it. Nikki is going to bring on T.S. Madison and Tasha K. Shout out to Tasha K. She's going to bring them on her show next week. And who knows? They just might spill some tea on Wendy. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.